Hey guys, welcome to a furry friend Friday. Did I say it right? Nope. <laughs> Fur baby Friday. Welcome to Fur baby Friday. Thanks for having me. Yes. I'm so excited to be here. He's a guest star. So today we're going to be talking about how to walk your dog on a leash. And as an example, right now, Savage is not a good leash walker. And you've probably seen in a few of our videos. Jeez. <laughs> he he yanks and pulls and overall just does not listen to any of our commands and so we've researched how to train a dog on leash walking and we are going to begin executing we're gonna try our best so tip number one is finding a good leash we started off obviously with a collar like the typical collar and that does not work at all and then we just got him a new harness then <laughs> the thank you <laughs> we were talking to a dog trainer and he suggested this harness so we went ahead and went with his recommendation and some of the some of the key points on the harness is that all all the all the tension when he's pulling is going to be over here on his on his sides because this harness buckles underneath him here, and so he's not cho he's not choking himself when he pulls or anything. Which when we had him in a regular collar like what Charlie has on, he was choking himself and we had a hard time controlling him. As soon as we put this harness on him, like I immediately have so much more control over him. So see right now. Savage is making the decision that he's the leader and he's trying to pull me. This is what we want to break him of. Right from the beginning, you need to make sure that you are the, the, the leader of the pack. And Savage is very strong-headed. Um, I think he thinks that I'm the leader of the pack, but he gets excited and sometimes forgets that I'm the leader. So as we walk, I'm going to keep reminding him that I'm leading, not him. Right out of the gate, right from your front door, you cannot let him pull. If he starts pulling, you stop, you call him back to your side, you give him just a little tiny little tug to bring him back, and if he refuses, you turn and walk the opposite direction. Like, make it clear that I'm leading, not you. And then as soon as he starts listening, you can give him a treat. I got treats in my pocket, and then you can continue walking. Come on, Seth. So as long as your leash is loose, he's being a good boy. Good boy, Daddy, good boy. Hey. I'm gonna let him sniff because he's a dog. That's what they do. Come on, Seth. Nope. And if you see right there, he, he immediately understood because we've been working with him that what he did wrong. He stopped, came back to my side, but then within seconds he's pulling me again. So I stop, Seth. So when, when he starts pulling on me and I stop, I will not begin walking in that direction again until he returns to me and we have slack in the leash. And that's the key. So I want him to know if there's any tension here, I'm done. We're not moving. So let's see what he does. Come on, bud. Boom. I stop. Seth. We walk again. Good job. Good boy. So make sure you reward your pooch every time he's walking right next to your side and every time he's walking with slack in the leash. Throughout the walk, just keep giving him that positive reinforcement. Right, Savvy? You want a treat, buddy? You want a treat? Oh, yes, it makes it so much more fun. Good boy. At no point when you're walking your dog should you stretch your arm out like this. This means he's, he's taking control. My arm should be able to stay down at my side 
See, like right now he's pulling and my arm's wanting to come up. Hey, Sav, that's not okay, buddy. Come on. Sav, you see how I'm keeping my arm down? I, I, I shouldn't feel the need for my arm to come up like this. You see a lot of dog walkers walking like this. That means their dog has control. Like right now, Savage thinks, look at, look at his back legs. Like he's trying to pull. He's forgotten everything we've learned already today. Hey, Seth, I'm the leader. Come on. The last point of note is that everyone in the family has to be on board. So if other people in your family are walking your dog, we well, need to make sure that they're all doing the same thing. So get with your family, communicate, make sure you're doing the same thing so your dog is set up for success, okay? So let's see if I can do this. I'm gonna really be bad at this. <laughs> by my side. No. Hey, he never listens to me. Turn and walk the other way. Pull him. Hey, I'm terrible with this. <laughs> ah! Savage, come here. No. Another thing he does is he likes to chew on his leash because he really does think he's in charge. He'll literally chew the leash off. He's done it twice now. That's why we put this up here so he can't chew on it. So if you have a dog that does that, then this definitely is the best harness for you. Savvy, Savvy, come over here. Hey. Let's go. I also think part of part of the um, stress for Sav right now is he's confused because I'm right here too. If you're walking your dog by yourself, there's gonna be less distraction. But I think at the end of the day, if you have a stubborn dog, you just have to be more stubborn than your dog is. And the key is to be patient, don't give up. It's important to train your dog to walk properly on a leash. Um, it's, it's good to have your dog follow your commands because in public you can control them. You don't want to cause injury to yourself. In the vlog that we have coming up, Dog in the Park, he was yanking on me so much that my arm was sore than, like for two more days after that. So remember that your dog is trying to be an alpha. So they're pulling you like that. They think that they're in charge, obviously. So you need to nip that in the bud immediately. I'm the boss. Show them who the alpha is. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today, everyone. Happy Friday. Have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you next week. Peace. Crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> here, here.